Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. In this video presentation, we are going to be discussing Proposition 3 of Book 8. Now, this proposition says that if we have a set of numbers, A, B, C, D, in continuous proportion, and they are the least of these numbers that are of this proportion, then the extremes of this series will be relatively prime to each other. So let's prove this. So we start off with, we have A, B, C, D, and we find um, the least ratio E of F, which has the same ratio as A to B, using Proposition 33 of Book 7. And now what we do is we use the methods that we used in Proposition 2 of this book, and we will construct a series of four numbers that are the least in the ratio of E to F. So we're just continuing. First, we came up with a series of three numbers, and now we're coming up with a series of four numbers. And we have that L, M, N, and O are the least numbers where L, M, N, O is in the ratio of E to F, which is also the ratio of A to B. So we have established that um, these two series have the same ratios. Now, E and F, by definition, was the least uh, ratio equal to A to B. So E and F are relatively prime according to Proposition 22 of Book 7. And since G and K are squares of E and F, and L and O are cubes of E and F, we have also that G and K are relatively prime, and L and O are relatively prime. And again, that's from Proposition 27 of Book 7. So, Let's put all of this together. We have that L, M, N, and O are the least numbers where the ratios A, B, C, and D is equal to L, M, N, and O. So L, M, N, O is the least by construction, according to Proposition 2 of this book. And we started by saying that A, B, C, D are the least. So since A, B, C, D and L, M, N, L, M, N, O are also the least, they are basically the same numbers. Well, not basically, they are the same numbers. So A is equal to L and D is equal to O. We've already shown that L and O are relatively prime. And since A equals L and D equals O, then A and D are relatively prime. So thus we have shown that if you have a series of numbers, where they are the least for that particular ratio of A to B, then the extremes of your series, in this case A and D, will be relatively 